Welcome back, you're joining me just in time for Operation Storm Knife. A squad of five with two rookies is touching down in the wilderness of West Asia for a supply raid. We've uh, had some resistance contacts stop a train for us, and now we're moving in to loot the fuck out of said train. Uh, here we go. We've got five troops, two of them are rookies uh, on their first op. We've got Bauer and we got Martin. Uh, Bauer has proven himself before. Martin is a complete no new blood to me. So we'll see how these guys operate. No Grenadier is going to be hard, but hopefully the rest of the squad will carry. And there is no time limit, so we can exploit that. Let's uh, hit the slopes. Menace 1-5. Coordinates of the Advent Train are locked in. Move to secure. Eliminate all hostiles. So we want to spot Advent first, we're going to set up ambushes for them later. Uh, there is a power converter park over here, and then there is a building over on the left. The building is what we want to use, I think, so let's start moving. Orders confirmed. Moving out. I've got enemy movement here. Hello. That was quick. Okay. Bone Daddy sees him, boss. He sees him good. Closing on target position now. Let's get the sniper, Jambal. Let's get you in position. On it. Will do. Got it. Moving. Okay. Glitch is in position of everyone else, and we are ready. The thing you have to know about Bauer is he's an amazing man, and he has the most amazing, angry, intense German accent you've ever heard. The man is... What the fuck is going on with this guy? <laughs> Go ahead and take a shot, Jamble. May as well. You're in heavy cover, right? Yeah. Take a shot. Fuck. Fuck damn it. Okay. Not a good start. That guy is floating in midair though, so I don't blame you. It's a hard target to make. Him and his officer buddy are on the way. Well, no, he's actually just gonna sit there, so we kinda need to kill him. Because otherwise, he's gonna like just kill us from hide advantage. God damn it. Okay. Alright, let's get Bauer moving up. Oh, Bauer could even be on the right. No, let's get Bauer moving up. Let's go, Bauer. Try and kill this guy if you can. That's my Bauer! That is my glitch Bauer. He is the best. Okay. We're gonna wanna move up and land some grenades on these varmints. Martin? Moving. That is your cue. Oh god, watch out for that gas tank. I don't like that. Here, take this guy out so we don't have to worry about it. Is that not going to blow up that wall, really? Grenade out. Surely it's going to blow up that wall, right? Just a bug. Yeah, there you go. Your wall's fucked. Fuck you. Okay, now let's try to finish this guy off. And, uh... Finish this whole adventure off. Move you to the side. Let's do this. Bang. Very nice. There's a reason both these guys got the glitch nickname. Because, uh, Boon Daddy and Glitch are some goddamn professionals. Okay, so that's all down. Now, the great thing about concealment with our Phantom is we can keep moving up. And unlike how they fixed the pure concealment ambush, they have not fixed the Phantom ambush yet. Uh, I have my own ideas on how I think it could be fixed. Uh, but for now, it's still something that is very powerful, and I would recommend uh, being aware of is an option. Confirmed. Being invisible is very powerful in XCOM. News at 11. Who knew? Who knew? So, because of Phantom, Alicia's going to stay in concealment when the rest of the squad has revealed themselves. That's going to allow us to use her as a very effective scout. Affirmative. Moving out. I'm gonna grab that loot. Nice little stock. Why am I on squad here? Alright, and then we've got another bunch of enemies over here on a train wagon. If I can get high ground bonus for Jamble, that's going to make it easy to pick these guys off. I get high ground bonus for a lot of people, actually. Uh, let's move to position. Moving to designated position. Uh, let's move up. On my way. And start to get, like, some Overwatch kind of positioning going on here. Hopefully these guys will blunder right into us. 
Moving to designated position. Here I come. Overwatch. 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 And Overwatch. Alright, they ain't moving. That's fine. That's fine. You bring Suarez around the side. Moving out. Swiggy Suarez. Gonna set up our sniper. Where is Jamble? Set up our sniper. Ready to engage. Roger that. That shouldn't reveal, I don't think. Yeah, we're out of range. I forgot I wasn't in concealment for a second there. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just move wherever the hell you want. Who cares? Okay, we probably want to move up to this pause. Roger that. This pause. Or even this pause, actually. Look goes. Bone Daddy. Tired of waiting around. Great. Okay. Oh, they're all next to an explosive thing, too. I can target this explosive barrel to probably blow up this entire pod with one shot. But then I'm also going to blow up the supplies, so I don't want to do it unless I'm really forced to. On Overwatch. Affirmative. Covering now. Hopefully we won't have to. They're not moving, so I'm just going to take a shot on them, I think. Good night. And so begins the ambush, once more. Nailed him! Alright, what's your play, boys? Be very angry, got it. Right, they're moving up. Jamble's still safe, she's out of range. So it's up to us what we want to do here. I can move up and get some grenades going, but again, that's going to put undue amounts of damage upon the supplies I'm here to liberate. So we don't want to do that if we don't have to. What would be ideal is if we could just take some shots and take these guys out. Bower, see what you can do. That's alright. Just gonna try to shoot our way through this one, I think. Some more hide advantage would go a long way, but in this case, that's alright. Okay, where are we gonna have eyes on this trooper from? Might have to move all the way over to here, apparently. Let's move already. Take Ready positions. I'm gonna bring Suarez back. Moving. Bring her well and truly back. Get her out of there. Keep her working as a scout. Okay. Bone Daddy has got a shot. And I'm, I'm of a mind he should try and take it. Take a shot. Ah, well. Can't always hit people through cover, unfortunately. Adjusting aim. We're gonna overwatch. overwatch. And that's the play. Sectoids run in the overwatch. Not gonna take any fire this time. Now, if we're lucky, that trooper back there will overwatch and we'll have another turn to deal with him. You guessed wrong. Nope, you guessed wrong. I ain't no bitch. Actually. Okay, here comes the trooper. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? He's gonna overwatch. Good. This pleases me. Now, we take it to shooty. With the jamble. Abort your bork. And you very daddy. Target eliminated. Now we uh, simply kill the sectoid man. Easier said than done, I suppose. The next thing he's going to do is raise a zombie. So we're going to keep moving in on him. Can you get a shot on him, man? Jesus. Just uh, push in on him, I suppose. Moving on target location. You know, take your time. Moving at your own pace here. But we are going to push on him now. Let's do this. Keep that scout safe Roger that. and out of the line of uh, of being detected. Maybe move him back here. Okay, we're gonna Overwatch. Fire shots. Overwatch. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Scanning. He's gonna run. Sectoids like to run. They're like dogs. Sectoids really just love to run. You can usually plan an Overwatch around them running. Rip you. Get exalted. Get... <laughs> Get staticked. 
as we kill you from a static position. Okay. Concealment Scout, back in the game. Let's move. On the move. Reload, reload, reload and overwatch. Jammer needs to move up and uh, reload as well. Good to go. On on the reload. Good to go, good to go. Gonna keep scouting with uh, the very appropriately named Ghost, Alicia Suarez. I'm gonna small hostiles, okay. Again, nice big explosive barrel behind them if we wanted to take it. I'm on the move. But I generally don't. That's the equipment we're after. We'll have to do our best to avoid destroying the gear while we secure the area. Yes, we will, Bradford. You're right. Nähere mich der Zielposition. Closing on target position now. Bone Daddy's moving up. Tired of waiting around. Jambles getting herself ready. Got it covered. No, Lord. I'm on it. And you can see how, like, having the ambush kind of scouted out for you in advance by your uh, concealment scout uh, assault really obviously helps things a ton. So let's try and pick off another free trooper if we can. Oh, nice. Nice aiming angle. Very nice. Oh, good effort. It's a shame. You deserve that one. That was good initiative. I was wondering how you could see them. <laughs> okay, so no such luck on the shot. Oh god. Look at my lips. They're genetically modified. We want a grenade on this action right here. We want a grenade right here. Glitch, I want you to roll it up. And I hope you can get a grenade that far. Great. You can't quite hit the guy, but you can get the grenade that far, which is what I asked for. We're gonna flank these two. You take out the trooper who's the big threat. We have got a guaranteed kill from Bone Daddy's combat protocol. You can also move to the side here. Heading there now. It's not quite a flank the way I want it to be. So we can chill. Bone Daddy does need to make it to cover. So move to cover. Finally. Finally. I can flashbang all of them with Bone Daddy as well, which might be a strong play, but then the sector is gonna shoot me, and I don't want the sector to shoot me, I want him to sit the fuck down. Um, let's see. So ideally Martin would probably kill this guy. Move Ghost to the side. Here I come. We're gonna pop that stealth now. It's served its purpose for us, I think. I think we've uh, killed enough people with this concealment stealth. We're gonna take a hair shooty. Oh, 70, 70, 70, 70. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, da, 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 da. Good try. Get it together. Get it to freaking gather. Alright. Shoot the trooper. Good work. That frees up Bone Daddy to do whatever he wishes in this case. Uh, I think I'd like to take a 54 on this trooper. Nicely done. Tango's down. And that just leaves the sectoid. And the sectoid is not a threat on his own. Nicely done, Bone Daddy. You're making him dance. Alright, sectoid's fleeing for his life. He's hiding behind better cover. It's a good plan. What are we doing? We're mind controlled, are we? Well, that is a conundrum. I won't lie. That is a big issue, isn't it? Unless I can get a flashbang on you, chump. So we're gonna run over to the side with Bauer. Hopefully there's no more contact on the right side. I don't believe there should be. Bone Daddy! Bone Daddy, please! You must flashbang the sectoid, or we are all doomed! Here I come! Here he comes! Need a light? Flash! Ah! 
wait, the sector is disoriented. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame that flashbangs are literally the count of the sectoids. What a shame. What a shame. Now the sectoid is dangerous now because he will take plasma shots at us. Okay, nicht erwischt. Which is perhaps a bit scarier than him doing psychic abilities, but we didn't have, really have much of a choice, did we? That acid will blow up the supply that I want to regain control of. But it will also make him an easier shot. But Rachel hasn't got a shot on him, so it doesn't even matter. We just need to move in, keep this guy pinned, uh, and take him down, really. In fact, if I overwatch, it's probably the best move I can make. Jill's gonna move up. Confirmed. The main thing I'm worried about is uh, uh, Bone Daddy being exposed to this guy. Got it, moving! Overwatch. Overwatch. Reload and Overwatch. He's liable to take a shot at us here because he can't use this uh, alien voodoo bullshit anymore. So we gotta watch that. Look at that pose. Interpretive dance. What are you doing, Sexoid? Moving in. He's got eyes on Bone Daddy and Bone Daddy's in half cover. It's not good. Ah, uh, but he overwatched. That's probably really lucky for me. And the supplies live, for now. I can flashbang him, I think? No. Shoot his butt. Shoot that butt, Jamble. Shoot. That butt. Shot wide. 70. That's more like it. His overwatch is shut down. I'm gonna shoot. And we're just gonna take him down to a volume of fire. Well done, squad. Got him. Well played. And we're the supplies live. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Operation Storm Knife. Eight out of nine enemies killed. There must be a turret on the train we didn't find. Uh, which is good for us. Rating flawless, and all the supplies come home alive, which is good. Jill Martin. Rookie Jill Martin dealt the most damage, apparently, so well done. Jamble didn't have a good mission that time. She missed quite a few shots there. Bone Daddy Malinowski. MVP in many other ways. Hero of the squad. Flashbangs are the only count of the sectoids, you heard it here first. And Ghost moved fervorist. <laughs> Such is the life of a Phantom Ranger. You always win the moved fervorist and you never win the most damage. You never win anything else. I'm glad to see our new recruits aren't hesitating when it comes to taking out the aliens. Alright, Jamble's got another promotion. That's going to put up her up to a, a very nice rank at Sergeant. That's going to give her Lightning Hands, which lets her take a free pistol shot every four turns. It is very, very good. Bauer. Bauer loves being a specialist, man. Bauer is back to be a backup specialist for me. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate the cameos. And Martin wants to be a Grenadier. So now I've got plenty of Grenadiers, which is always a good thing to have a little plenty of. Trust me. Excellent work, everyone. Extra stock. Very good. Lots of alloys, lots of supplies, lots of Illyrium crystals, lots of cores, and corpses. Supply raids are very lucrative. And that is uh, very helpful for me. Thank God, yes! My favorite thing in the world, the black market is here. Let us go. Avenger plotting new course. Go with God to the black market, my absolute favorite place in the entire world. I love the black market, it is so good, it is so wonderful, it's such a wonderful place. Okay, once you establish contact with the black market. The market is open. So the black market, you can buy and sell. So you've got, uh, on the buy side, you buy things with intel. And then you sell things, uh, for cash. Uh, and it's quite funny because you can, you can buy stuff for intel and then sell it for cash as well. So you can do a little bit of a trade-in. Uh, in this case, let me look at what I want. That's really fucking good. That's alright. That's good. That's good. 
That's really good. Oh, another engineer. Ooh. You're making me all hot under the collar right now, Black Market. I really want that too, though. That's going to be 90. I'm not going to have quite enough intel for both. Balls. So as much as I want rushed research plated armor, I st more strongly want engineers right now. So I'm going to recruit Drake for intel. That's going to help me get even more supplies, help me keep snowballing this campaign in the positive direction, hopefully. Then what else do I want to get? If I get a bunch of Illyrium crystals, it could help me um, get Sonyx going, which could be nice. I'm going to pick up that advanced conditioning PCS. And that'll do me for now, I think. Alright, in the selling side of things, not sure I particularly want to sell too much right now. Might sell a few sectoid corpses, not too many, but a few because I will need them for psionics uh, sooner or later. How much do I need for psionics? Work is well underway, Commander. Okay, I don't need sectoid corpses anymore for psionics, so that's good. Uh, I can probably sell my sectoid corpses then, which would be nice. Sell me some sectoid corpses. I think I should keep at least two. And then probably sell a couple of advent officer corpses as well. Uh, would be fine. And maybe sell a few trooper corpses too. Alright, good. Good little boost of money there. Black Market is the best. Black Market makes my world go around. I love it. So now with the Black Market done, we've got another engineer. Commander, I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team. But as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Let's go ahead and get Drake excavating. For now. 40 days, Jesus. Probably gonna change that in a second. Let's go back to Resistance HQ temporarily, because I want to see Setting if there's more engineers for sale. I think there might be. West Asia. Welcome, Commander. No, no, this... Today, th this month was Sonic, that's right. Right, let's go make contact then. Setting course for let's go continue one, with making contact. Making a fast expansion. Starcraft strats. Hey, Kilroy's done training. Good, good. Got another Grenadier. Excellent. Why don't you train Charles as a backup? Hmm. Backup sharpshooter, we haven't got any of those. Okay. Oh god. Bauer looks so good in his full, like, <laughs> pinstripe exalt suit. He looks amazing. He's chatting up the ladies. Okay, good for you. Got even more supplies now that we've completed that room. Maximum Excellent. Power consumption reached. We need to get to work on a power relay ASAP, though. Maximum power consumption reached. Power relay construction initiated. We're going to assign Cat to help with that, I think. And then we're going to clear Drake out of here because that's going to take way too long. Whoops. It's going to take way too long to get done at this current rate. So instead, we're going to put Drake to work up here. So once that power room is done, we'll be able to stick a uh, another building over here. And that's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. I've often wondered how the aliens could conceive of such a being. Is there another world out there filled with these shape-shifting creatures, or are they merely another construct of alien genetic tampering? Alright, so we've done the faceless autopsy, now we can build the mimic beacon, which wasn't the item I was most loving of in Enemy Within. But it's different in an XCOM 2. It creates a holographic decoy that literally saves lives. I recommend the Mimic Beacon all day, every day. It is very, very good. Uh, what we might do now is do a little bit of research on the Psionics. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. We need hey, two faceless corpses to finish the Mimic Beacon, unfortunately. Otherwise, we'd have one right now. Must have been. Like most people, I wanted to believe that the aliens were legitimately interested in peace. Although they left me little choice when it came to working with them. Okay. Howdy ho. Mm. 
New Arctic, I'm XCOM. Oh my god, that guy's hair, holy shit. A guy in the back smiling like, yeah. Interesting Sonix is Commander. done. Good for you. Scilab is buildable, Advanced Scilab is buildable. At this point, anything left to do is really to start on mag weapons, I think. Let's do it. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. What can I do for you, Commander? You'll note we need three sectoid corpses for an advanced psychic amp. So we need to keep- we need to get some corpses. New regional contacts located. Okay, so if we had room for us in the contact, we would go for East Asia next, but we don't right now. So instead we're gonna gain some intel over here. Setting course for West Asia. And all the intel we gain, we can spend at the black market, so intel is a great resource. Oh, but here comes the Doom Ticker, to ruin our fun. Commander, we've received word that the aliens have completed a facility devoted to their work on the Avatar Project. If we can establish contact with the local resistance forces in this region, we can make a move on that facility and destroy it to set back the aliens' operation. Right, so what we're gonna need to do, and what I should do actually, is build a radio relay here, we're going to need to start making inroads towards this facility. These facilities generate doom ticker progress, we need to shut them down as soon as possible. So we'll make a radio relay here, hit East Africa, uh, once we've gained East Africa, perhaps another relay, then take South Africa, then we can hit the facility. At some point during this, we'll also have taken the black site, which will give us a little bit more breathing room. But for now, that's what I should be doing. I should be over here building a radio relay. Setting course for India. I forgot about the radio relay, that's important. We do have three territories already though, which is good for income by the second month. I think that's pretty good. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Right, so we've got new stuff available every month. Uh, and the black market, I believe, also refreshes what's going on. Now, we don't want this. The Avatar Project Minor Breakthrough is one of the dark events that can happen. We don't want that at all. We can't see what the, made, uh, the hidden event is. Uh, we don't have the intel to spend, but if you had 30 intel, you could spend it here to reveal what nefarious things they're doing. And you can see when they're gonna build another base, too. Only got two weeks on the next terror strike now. There's our supplies. Let's go and check out the black market. See if there's anything good, anything new. I don't have intel to buy anything, sadly. Market is open. But yes, I really need intel so I can buy mag weapons rush. I really, really need that. Uh, we can also buy a corporal sharpshooter on a stave. He's a favorite of mine. And another advanced conditioning PCS, yeah, so that's good. This month, they want Illyrium Crystals, Illyrium Cores, and Viper Corps. Oh, you can just take that. You can just take the Viper Corps straight up. I don't wanna... I don't need that yet. Okay, let's go get the supplies. But a good little uh, supply income we've got going of all these territories, I think. I think we can be proud of what we've accomplished. Oh-ho! Extract VIP from Advent City, Dr. Glenn Friendly, Engineer 94 Intel. And you know what? When we extract Dr. Glenn Friendly, we're also gonna get enough intel to research mag weapons. So think of it like he's got the secrets of mag weapons with him on Operation Spiderwalk. So we have to ace this mission. We've gotta get in there, we've gotta complete it, we've gotta win that objective. We're gonna get Glenn Friendly out of there. That's another engineer for our Burgundine Empire. Uh, and it's also mag weapons in the bag. 14 days of mag weapons cut off and we'll have mag weapons this month. That's powerful. So we want to ace this mission. Setting course for the West Asian Corridor. I will not accept failure on this operation. Right, let's go to the GTS. GTS Chismac. Down here. Now that we've got plenty of supplies, we can buy a couple of these things like wet work, like vulture. I might vulture just yet, but that's alright. We'll buy wet work for now. That'll be important to get us, uh, get us leveling up faster. The earlier you get that, the better. Alright, onto the mission. Beegs is back, baby. Make way. Alright, out of everyone available, I think what I want the most is another Grenadier. So, Kilroy it is. Let's stick a stock on each of our Grenadiers, huh? Why not? Stocks for everybody. There you go. Alright, now if Beaks is going to be our tank, as a tanky heavy, then it behooves me 
to give myself the advanced conditioning PCS. That's plus two HP right there, baby. That is a lot of health. So we gotta remember to use Beegs as our main tank. Here's our strong man. Two grenades, two grenades, two flashes. It's a pretty good looking setup if you ask me. And you did ask me and I said it was a pretty good setup. So there you go. So with two grenadiers, two heavy cannons of stocks, four grenades, two flashbangs, a med kit, uh, a concealment ranger, combat protocol. I think this squad's starting to get pretty strong. Let's uh, get out there and let's handle this VIP extract with flying colors. Sorry, I had to check if I had any more upgrades to use. With flying colors. Sky Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. We received the priority one transmission from the spokesman. The Resistance has a VIP operating out of this area in need of immediate extraction. Advent forces are on alert nearby. Be prepared to engage and eliminate any hostile contacts. Secure the area and escort the VIP to safety. Hope you had fun this time around. That'll be next time on Operation Spider Walk as we extract uh, Dr. Friendly from the Advent Security Zone in Novgorod. Until next time, stay safe and have a good one.